Hello, today we're going to be adding in colour because the thing that I get asked the most by people is what if I want to knit three colours in a row? What if I want to knit four colours in a row? What if I want to knit five colours in a row? Well, I'm going to teach you today how to knit 100 colours in a row if you want to. So this is the method that I would use for that. And the other thing is, we are going to be doing something with our Etsy shop this month. We're going to have a massive discount sale in our Etsy shop at the end of this month. And we're going to give you a discount code at the end of this video. So if you make it to the end, you can get that discount code. Right, Joey. Now, I am knitting flat at the moment, but you've got to imagine that I'm knitting in the round because the whole I mean, it's just that I happen to be knitting flat and that's what I've got on my needles. So I'm going to teach you in the round how to do 100 colours if you wanted to. I'm obviously not going to add 100 colours now. I'm going to show you how to add in one or two colours, but it's the same principle. So let's do the thing, Joey. I'll have to, you, you, if you go down, can you see me? Right, so I've just, I've, that's it, knocked my glasses off my face, people. So if that's the end of the blue there, and I've just knit the last one and just knit that end of that blue there. Now I'm knitting, now I need to add some blue in because I'm going to put some blue across there. And then what we're going to do is we're going to change colour and then we're going to knit a bit of pink across there. Right, so now I'm going to add the blue in. Now when I add a, a colour in, so if I'm knitting blue, you'll notice that I'm putting a slightly different, you probably can't see that that's a slightly different colour in. Now, every time I change, every time I run to the end of a colour, I put a slightly different colour in. And they're all different lengths, so there's no knowing um, how much colour there's going to be. So what I do is I take a piece of yarn off and I find the middle of the piece of yarn. So there's the middle. And I am going to just lay it across. So I'm going to lay the middle across what I'm knitting. And then I'm just going to knit that purple. Now you'll notice, because I'm in the middle, I've got two ends. One end, two end. So one end I'm going to knit with. And the second end, because I'm knitting in the round, I know I'm knitting flat, but I'm pretending that I'm knitting in the round. Because I'm knitting in the round, that will be available to me when I come back round to it. So what I'm doing is I'm getting two goes out of one piece of yarn. That's the whole idea behind what I'm doing here. So now I'm knitting purple. And I'm using my no floats method. And now the next step, the next stitch is blue. So I am going to knit the blue and carry the purple. Nice and slow. And you'll notice that the other end of the blue I've left behind. It's back here, ready for next time when I come round after knitting all the way around. Now the next one's purple. And I'm going to show you how to do it again in a second because I'm going to show you what I do with the end of the blue when I finish knitting this bit. And then we're going to bring the pink in, ready to start knitting the petal of the flower at that end. So back on the blue for three stitches. One, two, three. Now I'm on the purple and I just need to bed the end of that blue in because I've finished with it now. So I'm just going to knit a few stitches until I'm happy that that 
is bedded in and is not going to come loose. What's that? Where is that? So there it is, and then I can just take that end and I can snap that off. So that's that bit of blue done. And then next time round, I can knit that bit of blue and do the same and break it off in roughly the same place. So now I'll just do that last bit of blue there. So now I'm going to add in the pink. So again, I'm going to pick up a, a pick a slightly different colour to what I've been knitting. And I'm going to break off a piece of pink and find the middle about there. And then I am going to lay that over and knit the purple. And now the pink's available to me if I need it. So I'm going to take one end with me. Oh, now I'm going to swap over to the pink and carry the purple just do it for a few more stitches just so people get the idea there we are so what i've done in effect is i've used that section of background color to swap from the blue to the pink and I could keep doing that all the way across. And the other thing that I could do is I could swap the background colour while I'm knitting the foreground colour if I wanted. So that's how to do it. Let's see the back just so we get the measure bits hanging ready for. Yeah, there's, there's your bit of blue for next time when you come yeah. round, yeah. when you're knitting in the round. And there's your piece of pink for next time when you're knitting in the round. And all of these ends are all bedded in. They just need just a little snip off when I finish the jumper. Yeah, they don't need to be woven in or darned in. They're all they're all done. Okay, so that's that. Let's let's now go on to talk about um, viewers discount, Joe. Um, from next month, um, people might already know we're working with um, uh, gorgeous Caroline from Gorgeous Yarns. And I'm going to be working, and I can't wait to start. In actual fact, when we finish this video, I'm going to start recording start this. And I'm going to start knitting it now. And I'm going to knit this, um, and we're going to record it a daily, um, like a daily vlog of me knitting this. And we are going to collect all of those videos. And when I finished it, we're going to put them out as starting in the middle of January. So you'll be able to knit along with me. I'll have already knitted it by then. Hopefully, might not have. But we're going to collect all of those videos up. And we're going to re release one day at a time of me knitting a new version in the green. And the, well, that's called Starling's Wing. And that one's called Clotted Cream. Um, and we are, and I will be knitting a new version of the Bluebird blanket, and that will be issued as a kit. So, in order to clear the decks, and because there's lots of people with lots of stuff in in our Etsy shop in their baskets, so things like our yarn packs and our patterns, we're going to do a special viewers discount till the end of the month. So you need to use this code before the end of the month. And it's in our Etsy shop. Our Etsy shop is called Gary Ray Smith. And this will give you 20% off of everything in the shop. Viewers discount code. And the code is viewers only. All caps, all one word. Let's clear the stash, finally. Yeah, and that, that will help Mrs. Smith, who has to live with an awful lot of yarn, to clear the house out and... You're looking forward to, to this lovely gorgeous to gorgeous chance. Okay, so it's a uh, goodbye for me, and it's oh, what we're going to do tomorrow, Joe? Oh, well, let's talk about this tomorrow. Yeah. Talk about the start of this. So we'll talk about it. It won't be the vlog about it, uh, how tos. It will be just talking about it. See you tomorrow. Cheers, Joe. Bye. Bye.